What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace your coilover springs with washers or metal tube. I have a 3 8 1 16 uh, steel pipe. This is going to go over your shock body and it's going to make your ride super stiff. So the first thing to do that is we're going to have to remove my rear coilovers. Um, if you watch my last video, you'll know that I don't need to do this in my front since my upper control arms are pinned and it makes it feel like a really stiff spring rate. So that's kind of unnecessary. My rears though are really soft and if I want to run my wheels, I don't want it hitting my fender if I run lift to fender. So I'll use this. It'll be super stiff. Right, so I got the car up on wood. Um, that way they can work on it without being on jacks. So as you can see there, there's my coilover. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to remove it is we're gonna have to unbolt it right there from the lower control arm. All right, so if you're like me, you have air tools. Um, so I'm gonna be using a 17 millimeter uh, socket uh, wrench and then a nice air pack. That way I'll be able to get the bolt out really quick. Right, so I got the bolt out for the rear coilover. Um, turns out it's actually a 19 millimeter. So I use the impact and the wrench, got the lower control arm separated from the coilover. I actually had to use the jack and jack up the hub so as I can pull the bolt out. Now we just need to get the bolts from the trunk, which is super easy, and then we'll be ready to pull out the coilover. All right, so we're gonna come to our driver's side. We're gonna get the little trunk latch open, pop open the trunk, and you can see them right there and right there. I'm pretty sure those are 14 millimeters. So I got the top hats disconnected and the lower control arm and the coil over is just about ready to come out. And see, there it is. So we have the first coil over. Now we got the rear top hats unbolted, so now we just need to go unbolt it from the lower control arm and we'll go pull it right out. So in the middle of doing my coilovers, I actually got a package from our friends over at Sexy Mate. You can find them on Instagram. Here's one of their stickers. I actually bought one of these rare cigarette lighter. All right, so here's one of the things I got. So it plugs right into your cigarette lighter it changes colors. It's not really anything like too big or that's gonna stand out. I also got another one. This one is also the same thing. These both uh, change colors, plug them in. They're kind of just little accents to the car, like mood lights that uh, just give it that little extra detail. Buy these when they have them in stock. They're really rare, so they don't always have them in stock at uh, Sexy Mate on Instagram. You can just give them a message. I'll uh, link them down below, but uh, yeah, I thought these were like something pretty cool. I picked these up for $65 for both of these shipped. It's a little pricey, but as I said, these are really rare. Really quickly, I just want to show off, uh, this one's my favorite. It's, you can click and it'll change just different colors. And I think, oh yeah, that one's color changing. This knob, I'm not really sure how to fully use these. Like I said, they just plug, plug straight into your cigarette lighter. Yeah, I thought it was really cool and I'm actually very happy with it. So back to working on this. So for the driver's side, I already did the top hats. Now I literally just have to do the lower control arms. It's ready to come out. Both coilovers are now out of the car. So now the next step is we have to disassemble this whole top hat area and get the spring out. That way we can slide over our metal collars. Once we have the collars on, we can pull this back on and right back into the car. All right, so here I got my passenger side coil over. So to disassemble the whole top hat, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set the little notches for the sniff stiffness all the way to soft and get it as far as possible. And then we're gonna wanna take a 18 millimeter wrench and we're gonna wanna break this bolt right here loose. Okay, so after struggling, um, this little tube right here in the middle between the spring was actually spinning since it's connected. So this is just gonna come right out. I recommend doing this on a table so you can keep track of all the parts. Put that right there. Let's see, this is gonna be a little tight probably. All right, so now we got the bolt off. You're gonna really wanna keep track of how everything went. So I'm gonna keep it in order. So this went first, and then we took off the bolt. 
Then we took off this little black bushing. And then it's the top hat itself. It's the top hat. This little black piece. You have the whole spring. So let me just... All right, so you can see mine was a little stuck on there. And then you have, could be like a washer or something. These are one of the four inches and you can see they slide right over. I think, yeah. So this is the bump stop. You're gonna wanna keep this. I'm gonna slide this right over. And then now it's time to go back. So we'll put this on. We'll put, well, actually we don't need this cause this is for the spring and then We'll slide the top hat back right, on. So this is my uh, four inch low tube and I had the bump stop on here, but when the bump stop is on and then you put the tube on and then you go on throwing your top hat, it actually, there's not enough threading to put everything back on. So what I decided to do is just remove your bump stop, throw this back on, we'll throw the top hat and throw this little black rubber piece. Let's see, get this to sit on there nice and flush. You're gonna go, you're gonna screw the bolt back on. Now, I'm gonna get my impact for this. That way I can just blast it right on. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna go, and we're gonna screw it on here. All right, so this is the first coil done. Here you can see up close the tube. Um, we have the top hat, the adjuster, the bolt. Everything is put back properly. Here is the spring. We have our two uh, coilovers. All right, so just like that, the passenger side coilover is in. I have the passenger side coilover as well as the driver side in. So now I'm gonna get off the wood and I'm gonna throw it with the wheels back on and we're gonna hit on the ground and we'll see how stiff it is. All right guys, so wheels are put back on, wood's taken out, cars on the floor, everything is tightened up, nothing under the car. So uh, let's give it its first stiff drop. Uh, it's a lot higher than I thought. I might actually have to remove the coilovers and cut it. It might be a little too long from what I expected. Oh, I just took it for a quick uh, spin just down the street just to kind of get a feel my uh, our roads here are They're pretty bumpy and they were pretty bumpy and like bouncy with my 10k So I just took it down just to see what it was like and it's definitely a lot stiffer um, My rear is definitely now stiffer than my front which I mean is a good thing most likely gonna have to cut out the um, Cut the tube a little more maybe down to three inches or even two inches Tomorrow morning, I'll play with the adjustments, see if I can get any lower than this. If I can't, then I'll um, cut the tube more and then throw it back in. So the car is now in washers. As I mentioned, it is nowhere near as low as I usually ride. I wanna get lower, the threads make a lower. I'll be forced to pull out the rear coils again, which is not that big of a deal. It took me like 15 minutes to take them out, um, five minutes to take them apart and then throw them in. So, you know, I'll just chop them maybe another inch or two, depending. I might just run two inches, and then if that's too little, adjust it by the threads. That'll probably be a better option. So yeah, so the car ride's super stiff. I didn't go up to speed. I only went like 15, 20 miles an hour with it up and down my street. You know, later day, once I get fully dialed in, I'll take it down one of our main streets, get up to some speed, and you know, we'll see how super stiff it is now. It's definitely stiff enough to where it's about 100K, it's definitely has no wheel movement, which is really good because I did not want to mess up my quarters if I decide to run lip defender because if I was, I wanted it to be as tight as possible. No finger gap, no credit card gap. I want it to be super tight. So yeah, so if you guys enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.